Hello, everyone. Um, so I've been to Tesco, but um, most of my shopping's been put away. But I've got like a couple of bits that I got to, I thought I'd just pop on and see if anyone was about. Um, it's literally like four things or something. <laughs> Hello. Like my receipt is this big. Um, my daughter put most, like, all the shopping away and stuff before I did this. Um, because my friend called round as we came back, so. <laughs> Hi, Ian. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um... I'm, I'm drying over, but my hair's just scraggy. <laughs> it was scraggy anyway. But it's been a, well, it's been a really wet day and it's going to be like that for the next few days, I think. The winter is coming, as they say. <laughs> so as I was saying, I went to Tesco. I actually spent... He left Nick's video to watch. Is he live? If he's live, I would have just watched. <laughs> Didn't stand <start> doing this. <laughs> or is it just his video? Because then you can go back to that. That's fine. But you can go back to this as well. I just won't reply to you. Because if I did, that would be weird. I think I should just shut up now, shouldn't I? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, not live. I'm catching up. All right, cool. Yeah, I've got to catch up with his, um, how much he could list in a week, was it, that he did? I think, yeah. Hi, Joanne. I'm just eating a late dinner. Pouring, it's pouring here in London. Yeah, I think, I think it's just England, isn't it? Like, the rain. I have, um, I've just getting new teeth. So, the like, it feels quite cockeyed at the moment. I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to get used to them. <laughs> Hello, Double Karma. How are you doing? You still didn't tell us your name. <laughs> anyway, the few bits that I was going to show, I might as well do them. Get them out of the way. You know what I mean? Um... This was the first thing that we got, which is basically an oven glove. So exciting, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Leanne, how are you doing? Um, having said that, it was like five quid, I think it was. Yeah. Five quid. Okay. Should have just left the burn to burn around, shouldn't I? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> Um, and then we've got like a couple of glasses like these. Um, these were like 90 pence each. Um, we've got that design as well. So, crabs and lobsters, is it? Yeah, I assume that. Oh, yeah. yeah, I. I'm not going to say my name. Oh, okay. It's up to you if that's if you don't want to. It's fine. Um, and also God, <laughs> dude, so like it's too big. I don't know. I'm in bars now. Behind bars, maybe. <laughs> but um, it's basically. I think I'm freezing. I don't know if I'm freezing, but. It's basically a, a toilet roll holder thing. Um, yeah, it was eight quid. But, um, and that's basically all I've got, even though I've all I've got here anyway, even though I spent 85 pound, the rest of it was shopping. And like I said earlier, my daughter put it away, so. 
it's gone. But we've got the stuff to do a Sunday dinner. Well, my daughter will. Broccoli and collie and peas and a chicken and sausage stuffing. It's not easy to say with new teeth. <laughs> um, where are we? I wish I could drink. It doesn't mix with my meds. Ah, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire tea is the best. I have to say, I really like Yorkshire tea. From my end, it looks like I'm freezing a bit, but I don't know if it's showing that same way to use. I was trying this new camera that my brother gave us. Um, but I don't know if it's any better than the actual laptop one. New slash Jordy reseller behind bars with new tea. Hmm. Who's who's a Jordy like? Because I'm not a Jordy. That's just rude. <laughs> I'm on my come. We don't mix, you know. <laughs> um. Plus, I'm not actually a reseller. I've dabbled in it. I've got like. I watch all the music sort of feeds my habit, I guess. Um, but I, I don't do it. I'd love to. Try to get my... Um, I know you did. <laughs> I know you were. I try to get my kids to like it, but my daughter just thinks it's a mess. You know what I mean? She doesn't, she doesn't view the money in it. And so I can't persuade her. So what's everyone's uh, plans for the night? Anyone doing anything exciting? I don't know what. I, I think I'll probably watch the circle with my daughter because she asked us to. Did anyone else watch that, the circle thing? I think, isn't it where they're all going to some building, but they're not, they can, um, they can, um, oh, what's the word? Like, communicate with each other from like each room, but they can pretend to be someone different being online. It's weird. I think you should be a reseller even tomorrow. I'd love to, Ian, but like I said, it's I'd need the help of a child and to really hit it. So I suppose I have to just get me fixed from you. I kind of, I mean, I, I buy from like charity shops because like my friend helps one one, so she like, um, you know what I mean. She'll um, drop stuff down for us if that actually is anything. But then sometimes you don't see how good it is or bad it is, if you know what I mean, if someone drops it down kind of thing, because um, it can look better on the picture. <laughs> but, you know, things happen. You mean five gold rings? Oh, no, you don't mean that. So. No, I don't know what that is. It sounds like a Christmas song. Is that a Christmas song? <laughs> yeah. Is that the one with Partridge and the Pear Tree? <laughs> and then it's got I. It is. No, I definitely don't mean that. <laughs> but yeah. I would love to do it. I just have to what, choose all. Well. That's with Philip Schofield. Never seen that. Uh, the only thing I think, the last thing I've seen with Philip Schofield is the one where he was in the box. What's it called? Oh, 
oh, what's it called? The Cube. Yeah, I've watched that with him in, but nothing else, really. Thanks for reminding me that the circle is on. Never watched last scenes, but like, I'm, I'm all this, yeah. Yeah, I, I watched, actually watched a little bit, like, of the last one, because my daughter won't got bits of it, if you know what I mean. But this will be the first time I've watched it from the beginning. But it's just like so many different people and it can literally lie about the background. It can tell the truth, it can lie. And the only way of communication is um, via the, the circle, as it were. So might be good, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, the cube. That's what I meant. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. I tell you what I can, I'm really looking forward to is the Breaking Bad like film that's due out. I, I, I've just watched the whole of the Air series and I can't wait to see the film. And the, and the, the running trailers at the minute and um, like they look really, really good. But I just hope it's not one of them things where the trailer looks really good and then the actual thing disappoints you, you know what I mean? Five gold rings is a Sunday night, kind of like cute. Ah, right. I'm not, I've never really, like, I watch more YouTube than I usually. And what telly <laughs> and what TV I do watch tends to be... Um, like either series or something I can catch up. So, yeah. Yeah, Jerome, it does, doesn't it? It sounds so bad that it could definitely be good. <laughs> it's probably, it probably is. It's probably that sort of thing where you're glued, but, and you can't help it, even though it's like really trashy TV, but you really can't help it. What other stuff do you watch? Were you a fan of uh, Big Brother and stuff like that? I watched Spider-Man the other day, the new one, which I thought was brilliant, but I love like Marvel and superhero stuff. But, uh, it's a bit cool. And then I watched Toy Story 4. Because <laughs> I'm a child, but still. <laughs> My hair's really flat. The rain's killed it. <laughs> hey now. I care for my mum, so I twist and swap tip and find chairs. Ah, right. Westerns. Yeah, my, my dad used to Make, make us watch them when I was a kid. Um, you know, the John Wayne type of thing. That, um, Mr. Grimsdale, Normal Wisdom and stuff like he used to watch. And every time there was a, a James Bond film, even if, like, um, he'd say in a 20 times, he watched that as well. Tipping Point and the chairs are fine. I can watch them. I don't mind. No one then. You really miss Big Brother. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Towards the end. I guess it was its time, really, but it's just how it goes. But, like, the reality to TV now is, like, it's just phenomenal, isn't it? How much of it is and how many people have become famous because of it, whether it be like skating, com dancing competitions or singing. Britain's Got Talent. There's loads of them, isn't there? I don't really watch my own telly. I'm more YouTube and Amazon Prime. Yeah, I watch a lot of YouTube. Not so much Amazon Prime, more of a Netflix person, really. However... I did notice that they were advertising, um, was it Carnival Raw, I think, and it looked pretty cool. Um, 
Yeah. I think it was called Carnival Row. And it had Orlando Bloom in it. And I think she was a model, the, the girl, but I can't remember her name. Off the top of my head. I know it, but I can't remember it. But um, it looked really good. It was kind of like set in Victorian era, but she was like a fairy or something. And I think he was a detective or, or something. I don't know. It sounds very really far fetched. You don't explain in that. <laughs> um, Mum's 84, which ironically is the volume number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That sounds like my dad. Um. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's also 84. Um, my mum's 74. My, my dad's um, his sight's pretty much gone now. Um, so he likes everything's louder because he's he already had hearing issues anyway. So everything's loud. And um, my mum's 10 years younger, 74, but she's got dementia. So yeah. Look, you still um, have them at, at my age, like, I have to say. <laughs> anyway, I suppose maybe I should just go and watch Tally else on it, I guess. I wonder if anyone comes on live later. That's her. Yeah, Cara Delevingne. She's the one with the eyebrows. <laughs> I know all, all models probably have eyebrows, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't, not much, not much television, but like a few things. Netflix is good for binge watching too, which takes on only so many hours. And yeah, definitely, I agree. However, up until I got my wheelchair, um, I watched quite a bit of um, telly, <laughs> I guess. And once I started going in the wheelchair, obviously, it's gone a lot, a lot further down. But I watched the whole of Game of Thrones. Um, was it 11 days? Yeah. I watched... 68 episodes of Game of Thrones in 11 days. That's mental. <laughs> That's just some serious, too much time on your hands, isn't it? <laughs> you had to look it up. <laughs> I'm pleased you did because it would have bugged us and then I'm probably about to do that when I come off here anyway. Unless I forgot about it. Like, there's, there's a chance of that as well. But, um, yeah, it was it was weird though. On the way to Tesco, the rain had sort of calmed right down. So on the way, we got about halfway there, I think, and it started to bucket it down. And I was a bit worried because they say like with the wheelchair, because obviously it's electric, um, to get out of the um, to get out of the rain if you like. You know, if, if it's really bucketing type of thing. And then, um, so we're like, oh, halfway there. And I said, oh, to my daughter, I said, oh, I'm not like in this and that. Do you, want, do you want to go back? And I said, yeah. And then we got halfway back towards home and it and it kind of stopped. Um, so then we ended up going back, <laughs> back towards Tesco. And then on the way back, um, halfway, when, when I was halfway home, it started raining again, so I got soaked twice. <laughs> but it was good. It was good to get out. <laughs> it would bug me too. I have enough trouble remembering. I'm surprised I remember the race. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's terrible. Like I can just go it totally blank. You know what I mean? Like it's it's really bad. I'm quite excited and can see moving things. See fast moving things. I mainly have found you so enjoy your tables and content. 
yeah, totally the same, John. Like, obviously, I wasn't going out at all, but then now I'm getting out. But obviously, I still spend the majority of my time in bed, which um, it's not even like I'm sitting anywhere else. It's in my room in bed because, yeah. <laughs> but you just have to focus on the, the good sides of it, don't you? And the things you can do, at least that's what I've been doing. So we're trying to anyway. I have to write a speech. Well, not a speech, but like say a few words. I have to do it on camera. Um, for um, the poetry competition that I won that I wasn't meant to talk about <laughs> yet. But I didn't know. Um, and... I, it's so hard like obviously this is hard enough but at least I've got little bits of use chatting back so I can talk back to that but to just say what I need to say <laughs> is really hard or I find it really hard so um, I've tried it twice and it just I didn't feel like it was right but I might have to have another go oh you're mainly in bed too it's hard sometimes, I don't know about you, John, but I sometimes get really bad cabin fever. Um, and like, I, there's nothing that will work, you know. I just end up sighing all the time and it's not good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, they're going to record because I'm not, <laughs> they're going to uh, record the event. Because um, it's being hosted in London and they're going to record it. Uh, one of the ladies have said they'll record it on their phone for a sweat and see. Um, and when they read my poem, I, I'll probably put it in a, make it a, what's it called? A video for on here to show. But it's pretty cool. <laughs> I love writing. I find it a really good escape. It's very cathartic, like, even because I've got a blog as well as, well, obviously I started doing this, but prior to this, I did a blog, and the blog's been since I was in the hospital, so, like, June 2017 I started it, um, and this is just sort of, like, trying to get braver and do, you know, more things that scare us, I guess which this does. <laughs> not as bad as the first did, and not to the point where, but yeah. But I've got, like, well, I put something on my uh, Facebook earlier. I check in there, read when I find it. Uh, where am I? This isn't the poem from the thing, but this is one of the poems I've wrote before. Um, but I'll, I'll read it. <laughs> Uncertain of the future, caused by truths now past, keep drifting down a soulless road from a heartbreak built to last. This record must be broken, keeps playing on repeat, a song that never has an end, where your heart matches every beat. But it's lonely in this cyclone, built on a lifetime of regret, though the wind of change can flip the corn. coin. Do you gamble and place a bet? It's not a massive thing, that one, but it was something that came out. Yeah, I get grumpy and good-natured sort of way. I can tell you're positive, but know how hard it can get in my opinion. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it does, like, totally the same as you. I, I try to, I think sometimes I can talk myself around and sometimes, like, I just think, you know what, it's it's easy just to go to sleep. If I just go to sleep, wake up tomorrow and start a fresh day because sometimes I'm just, and all I can do is sigh and everything, like, I look at is boring and, you know what I mean? But 
most of the time it's fine. And I never used to be positive at all, really didn't. I used to have terrible issues in terms of um, depression, anxiety, panic attacks. I stopped le- leaving my house at all, even when I was able to walk. Um, but, you know, I've moved on a lot. <laughs> Things have changed a lot in the past is it three years coming up. Well, two and be three years in January, but yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just find it, it's so releasing and like before I used to be, like I used to be very critical of it because, and even still, you know, if I read something someone else has written that I think is amazing, I'm like, oh wow, mine's crap in comparison, but you know, you, you, uh, we're all different and um, I can't compare myself and what I do to what other people do because I'm not them and they're not me. So... Yeah, it's not easy, Ian. But um, one step at a time, Mrs. Here, or well, one roll at a time for me. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm definitely going to go. Um, maybe I'll, someone will be uh, live later on, and I might see you on there somewhere. Um, and. Well, I'm going to get this bed cleared of the few bits that I brought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are. It's the fear. The panic, the anxiety, the fear. And the depression because it's just so dark. Um, it really, well, it stopped me for years. Like, you know, my, my life kind of just took a downward, downward spiral from about, the age of 26 and I've I've had issues before that you know had body dysmorphia which I didn't realize you could get when you were big it just assumed it was something that you got when you were slim but you know I should really do I keep meaning to do a sort of um a video about it all but it it's kind of like I'm so easy and I waffle in 20 directions and um, so it's me it makes it harder but I will get round to it I'll, I'll have to do myself some sort of notes and try and stick within that <laughs> see what I can do anyway see you later Ian um, thank you and see you later to you too John I'll um I'm definitely going to go now. <laughs> but um, it was uh, nice to chat to you. Um, chat soon. Bye.